Hello and welcome to this week's Wednesday Prayer Pause. During our Lenten journey, we're in the wilderness. We're walking through the wilderness. God is leading us in these days. There are a few powerful themes and symbols in the Lenten season. One of them is water. In baptism, we need lots of water to sustain us in the wilderness. God provides us with water. God provided the children of Israel with manna from heaven, just exactly what it was they needed, water, exactly what it was they needed. And we celebrate that this day. Today, I'd like you to grab a hold of some water in whichever way you can do, whether it's in a cup, whether it's in a bowl, whether it's, whether it's in a pail of water, whatever it is. I invite you as we prepare for this time together and we're going to celebrate baptism as we uh, gather together in this Wednesday prayer pause. Let us celebrate how the ways in which God waters this earth and the ways in which God waters us and sustains us in the journey. Also in the Lenten season, we talk a lot about carrying the cross and bearing the cross. And the cross is very uh, center, central to what it is that we are doing in this season. And that symbol is very much up there this week. In this week's uh, lessons in, in Numbers chapter 21 coming up in Lent 4 and in John chapter 3, we hear about how Jesus bore the cross. Jesus lifted himself up and we are to look to the cross. Let us begin with a thanksgiving for baptism. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Ever living God, author of creation, we give you thanks for your gift of water that brings life and refreshes the earth. We bless and praise you for by water and the word we are cleansed from sin and receive everlasting life. Join us again this day to the saving death of Christ. Renew in us the living fountain of your grace and raise us with Jesus Christ to live in newness of life. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation and with all your creatures we give you glory through your Son Jesus Christ in the unity of the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, who gives us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and forgives us all our sins, strengthen us in all your goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I should have noted that that was on page 307 in the morning prayer section. If you go back to page 304, we'll have our prayer service for today. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Thank you for this new day. Especially, we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation, for the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness for the gifts of relationship with others, for the communion of faith in your church, for the saints here at St. Matthew Lutheran Church, the present saints who attend here, for those who have been here, for the saints who have not yet been here, those whom you are calling, those whom you who are seeking you this day. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world, and this world is so weary today as we approach this anniversary of the COVID shutdowns. Heal the hurts of all your children and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations, 
of the world. We pray for people and countries ravaged by strife or warfare, for all who work for peace and international harmony, for all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction, for the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and evil so that our life and our actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. We conclude with the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our manna this day in the wilderness. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May God lead you each step of the way this week. Trust in God. God has called us out into this wilderness called Lent. God has called us into this time of learning, this time of being drawn closer to God. May you know God's peace in this time. God is with you. Amen.